Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, looking at some new data coming in, and the rain tomorrow morning doesn't look overly heavy in terms of amounts. However, by Thursday and part of Friday, second system with much heavier rain and stormy conditions, some gusty wind as well as remnants from Hurricane Zeta uh, stretches through the area. It is cool and quiet. Newport, good visibility, cloudy skies, no precipitation yet, though it will arrive overnight, late at night, and especially uh, tomorrow morning. Temperatures slipping back into the upper 40s to low 50s right now after reaching about 55 Five to 60 this afternoon. A little cooler tomorrow with the showers and the lack of sunshine. We're thinking around 55, 56 for the afternoon high. Right now in Oakland Beach and Warwick, cloudy skies, 51, still dry, no rain yet. As we take a look at the, what we're watching, showers returning overnight tomorrow morning. Uh, hurricane Zeta will become a hurricane in the uh, Gulf of Mexico and making landfall near Louisiana tomorrow night. And some of that remnant moisture arriving Thursday, especially centered on Thursday evening, Thursday night. Early Friday morning, one to two inches of soaking rain, snow, not a lot. In fact, very little, but some of this rain on Friday may actually end as a brief period of wet snow, but it's essentially just a cold rain. You can see the showers off to our north and west arriving overnight and through tomorrow morning. It'll dry out the second half of the day as this tracks off to the east. Now, taking a look at Zeta in the uh, Gulf of Mexico, still a tropical storm, but look at the cloud structure. Notice it is uh, it's more solid. It's showing signs of it being more symmetrical. So these are uh, signs of intensification. It's just shy of hurricane strength right now with winds of 70 miles per hour. Intensification next 24 hours makes landfall for the sixth time this hurricane season in Louisiana. Just incredible. And what's left of the storm, the moisture stretches north and east, arriving here on Thursday and the first half of Friday. You can see the storm making landfall overnight. Then watch that tropical moisture advance north and east. And that spells heavy rain in the Thursday evening, Thursday night, early Friday morning time frame. All right, let's back up to tonight through tomorrow. Clouds continue to increase. All this green tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. That's your chilly rain through noontime tomorrow. Doesn't really pull out of here till around two o'clock in the afternoon. The second half of the day is dry. We may not see any clearing until around three, four o'clock in the afternoon. And then partly cloudy to clear skies tomorrow evening, tomorrow night dry with temperatures in the 40s. So the rain is likely really all morning. Allow a little extra travel time. Temperatures starting off mid and upper 40s. Rain should quit by around one o'clock in the afternoon. I think any breaks of sun reserved until probably three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Daytime highs in the mid at 50s. It is a cold rain on Thursday, the heaviest Thursday evening and Thursday night. New information now coming in on Friday. Still has rain and wind, but primarily during the morning, it'll dry out by mid to late day. Could end as a brief period of wet snow, nothing more than that. Gusty wind Thursday evening, Thursday night into Friday morning, gusts of 40, 45. Halloween, it's dry, it's sunny, but it's colder. Sunshine Saturday, daytime highs only in the 40s. will bring back a few showers on Sunday. Not a rainstorm, but some scattered showers. Hour Sunday afternoon, milder temps in the upper 50s, but several chances for rain, the heaviest being uh, Thursday into Friday. All right. Well, speaking of